where else in the world does a guy who everybody on in certain ideological perspectives says you can't make it because you're black a guy born into a broken home born into poverty raised in foster care father with a sixth grade education well as a welder mother as a house cleaner graduate from Harvard Law School, go on to practice law for 15 years, write three books, speak to, right now, speaking to people all over the world. America is the place where that happens as it happens nowhere else in the world. And I'm not unusual. I mean, there are millions of stories like, your, your stories like exactly. that. Exactly. And, and, and what God has impressed upon me, James, is we've got to preserve that. We can't allow the devil to take it away from us. And we've got to stand up. I tell people, you got to stand up, step up, speak up, and refuse to back up. And sometimes it's going to cost us. I mean, I've lost friends. My, my wife and I, we had, we had people tell us who we thought we had friends who were going to be our, our youngest daughter's godparents. They found out where we stood on the issues, and they said, well, we don't want to be, we, mm. we don't want to be godparents to people like you. Mm. I mean, there's a price to be paid, but there is such a gift of immeasurable value to be protected and preserved, and that is the United States of America. That's you right. know, uh, Thomas Paine said, these are the times that tried men's souls. And then he said, those who step to this time are worthy of the thanks and love of man and woman. And I believe that God has placed us at a moment just like that moment during the Revolutionary War that he was speaking of. You got to stand up and you got to refuse to back up if you're going to preserve the greatest, one of the greatest gifts that God has ever given. All right. If we're going to correct this nation's course and we've got to begin the course correction right now, give us some steps. What are the concerns you have? The division. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have become convinced that rather than one nation under God, we need to be a bunch of warring tribes. Tribalism has been tried <laughs> and it doesn't work mm -hmm. because all it does is destroy yeah. people from within. And one of the messages of the book is, I love this country even though I'm a descendant of slaves. And I tell people, I don't care how my ancestors got here, I'm just glad they got here. Because I really believe that there was something deeper going on than slavery, which was a worldwide phenomenon. I believe that God was assembling a nation unlike any other by bringing people of different colors, languages, backgrounds, all together in this wonderful experiment we call personal, individual liberty. And we're all beneficiaries of of it. So, so we have got to, to teach our children that this is something valuable. And we've got to tell them, it's not the color of your skin. It's the content of your character that really matters. And to me, that's where it starts because the division threatens to destroy us because Jesus said, a house divided against itself cannot stand.